Hi, Hi. Matt, I'm Tanya with Spoiler TV. Hello, nice, nice to, meet to meet you. Nice to Congratulations Thank on you the so film much. here. Thank you so much. So exciting. Can you tell us a little bit, because it sounds so original and different, where this idea came from? Well, I don't think anything's original. No? But, um, uh, I, the, you know, the idea came from, I think, Good movies uh, ask a lot of questions and don't necessarily answer them, but um, for me, I had a lot of questions about being a father and parenting and that I wanted to explore, and I thought I'd do that through a narrative. So and it was really about being a father and parent. The narrative sounds unique just because of the situation these children and this family yeah. are in. Not that unique. I mean, there are a lot of people in this country and all over the world that live outside of society, you know? I mean, I lived, I, I, I was raised in some alternative living communities, communes really, but, um, and they exist today. So did that kind of come into play here? A little bit. The movie's not autobiographical at all. I mean, it's much more personal in the fact that Ben, the character Vigo plays, is much more aspirational as the father I wish I could be or want to be or fantasize about being, and much less to do with uh, my personal upbringing. And how was Vigo? Was he perfect for the role? He was, he was the man for the job, I think. I, I'm a huge admirer of his. I think he's a great great artist, great actor. He's a great photographer and poet, many things. He's a renaissance man, and this character is a renaissance man. And, and then on a personal level, he's everything I hoped he would be, and more. He's a great man. Awesome. Thank yeah. you so much. My pleasure.